Welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I would also like to welcome Spirit into this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to receive. This is a general reading. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck you've got the Two of Wands over there. You've got the Prince of Wands and you've got the Prince of Swords. So it may have been, you know, you've got the Eight of Swords underneath us and this is uh, Jupiter in Gemini there. And it's a very restricting card over here. Gem uh, you know, Gemini likes its freedom. Uh, it's uh, ruled by Mercury. Mercury likes to communicate with people, talk to people, meet people. It's It used to be Mercury was the messenger of the gods. And you are feeling very, very restricted right now. Uh, you know, your hands are tied. People seem to be doing things around you. And you just are very, very frustrated. Very Feeling very, very restricted. Uh, you know, you have an idea. You can see there's a window in the background over there. So you want that freedom. You know what you want to do, but it seems like at this particular moment, uh, there are people around you that are tying you up or a situation is tying you up. It seems like there's, uh, you've got the um, Prince of Swords. You might be dealing with somebody who is very, very uh, difficult. So a very, very difficult situation. There might be a lot of gossip. Uh, somebody's instigating things there with that Prince of Swords and, you know, causing a lot of chaos. You can see a door is closed in the back over there. Uh, there's a coffin in the back over there, so you want to end the situation. Um, but it seems like doors have closed for you there or you feel as though you can't seem to get through it. And, uh, you know, you want to put an end to the situation, um, but it doesn't seem like that is going your way at the moment. And it's, it's really causing a lot of um, restriction for you there. You've got the Prince of Wands. Now, this is about freedom coming in. So whatever situation you're going in through, it looks like you are going to be able to make a move and change um, the energies. You can see this Prince of Swords actually walking away. So the Prince of Swords is always looking at this. Um, actually, if you look at these two cards, this Prince of Swords is in this Eight of Swords card. So you are dealing with somebody that is causing a lot of problems, and they are the person that is tying you up in this situation. Now, the Prince of Swords could also be uh, something legal that you're facing and you're feeling very frustrated because you can't seem to sort it out. Um, so there's something official or something legal, uh, some kind of matter that is keeping you very, very restricted. You've got that Prince of Wands coming in over there and there's freedom coming in over there. You need to be very strategic about what is going on. It looks like you'll be able to overcome the situation because Sagittarius comes in over there and this is about liberation. So whatever the situation you are in, whatever you're feeling tied up in, there's liberation coming in for you over there. And you're going to have to think quickly and move very, very quickly. And there's a big decision that you have to make. You've got that two of wands over there. So this is Mars in Aries. And this is about you taking control. It doesn't seem like you're going to be able to do it. Because um, it's got a, a aggressive conquest over here. Whatever this choice is, you're going to have to make it despite what everybody else says. So you're going to have to be very, very aggressive in whatever you want to do uh, in order for you get to get your freedom. Now, this might even be even traveling away from the situation. You've got this world card over here and actually physically moving away. With the Prince of Wands, it's also about international travel. So whatever situation you've been restricted on, uh, once you make a decision, and you have to be very, very single-minded about it and be very, very selfish when you make this decision uh, because you've got Mars sitting there in Aries, so you've got to think about yourself only uh, and make a decision that is going to be in your best interest. And even if it upsets a lot of people, it looks like that's the way you're going to have to do it. You're going to have to play it that way. Because if you sit back and let people do, uh, you know, listen to everybody else's opinions, it doesn't seem like it's working in your favor. You've got the kingdom within all. Now, this is about being able to do anything you want. And, the, you know, as they say, the ball is in your court with this card. And this is in this deck. It tells you that, Everything is in with, within your reach. Universal power, yin-yang, everything is within your reach. <coughs> but it's up to you. Now, everything is sitting with whatever decision you make. So the decision to leave or to change things is going to be up to you. You've got the five of wands over here. So you are dealing with a lot of difficult people. Uh, Saturn sitting in Leo there. Um, you know, this could be about problems at work, people attacking you personally, uh, coming against you, uh, not agreeing with whatever you say. So you're going through a very conflicting situation there. And maybe uh, an offer has come in for you to actually make a change. That Prince of Wands is about international travel. It's usually about relocating to do a job in another country. And even this two of wands, it's about leaving behind something and moving forward on, on the international arena or, or moving or traveling away from all this restriction. 
And perhaps this is why the ball is in your court. Uh, it de depends on what you decide, because you are dealing with a lot of aggression. Um, these, and, you know, it seems to be something that is going on within the work situation. People are very opposed, opposition. There's a lot of opposition. There's a lot of competition that you're dealing with. Um, and, you know, you, you need to stand up and, and take control of the situation, really. That kingdom within says that you have the strength, you have the power, and it's all up to you at this moment. So there's the two of pentacles all over again. So you've got successful change over here. So this is about having an option of maybe two jobs or maybe two career paths. You can see there's a goat in the back over there. And that generally speaks about finances and changes on the financial front. So big change coming in with the money there. Uh, and, you know, you are it looks like you're weighing your options up here, deciding what to do. You seem to have a lot of experience over there, but um, with um, Jupiter there in Capricorn, now Capricorn is ruled by Saturn. Jupiter and Saturn don't particularly get along because Saturn tends to be a bit restricting uh, and Jupiter likes its freedom. And Jupiter is a planet of expansion, so things seem to be a bit limited even financially for you at the moment. And you might be even juggling finances with that particular card with the Two of Pentacles. But like I say, there might be an option for, for a new job or a change that comes in financially. And it seems like an ending of, such, of a situation coming up for you and a transformation. So something big coming up over there. So you might be changing jobs, leaving an old job and moving on in the new year because you've got the death card over there. So what's in your mind? The nine of wands. So this is about uh, boundless potential. There's a moon there in Sagittarius and this moons talk about travel in Sagittarius, this is international travel, and this is what's been playing on your mind. With the Nine of Wands, it's about you know going through difficult situations, but con you know conquest is coming for you, and boundless potential shows that you know you can do anything that you want. So there's a lot of ideas that you have, um, you know you you know what you want to do, um, you have great potential to do it as well. Um, so you need to put your energies into that as well. Uh, you know also keep your defenses up, make sure that you're watching your back, and you know you're looking after your own. Uh, interests with this particular card but whatever you have is going to grow you've got a little rabbit over there that is talking about um, you know abundance coming in over here so this is what you want and this is what you're working towards you've got the ace of swords over here so this is a breakthrough in the situation so if you're having difficulties with communication with people that will open up for you if you're going through a very very difficult legal situation there's victory in that particular uh, card as well but like like I said you're the one that needs to uh, you know show your strength. You can see this hand is really clutching the sword. There's angel wings on it, so you are being guided. There are divine messages coming in for you, and somehow the solution is going to come your way there. So there is a, you know, a victory in that particular card. Um, if you're dealing with uh, legal issues, at the moment you've got the justice card over here, so this could be actual legal issues that you're dealing with over there, and there's a breakthrough that comes in over there, and it looks like it's going to be in your favor, whatever legal issue you're dealing with as well. This is also about weighing your options, and this is about making a decision, so you will be making some kind of decision soon. Um, you make sure that you do your research, read the fine print of everything, and weigh all your options out very, very carefully before you do any kind of thing. You've got the Prince of Cups coming over here. It looks like there is going to be some kind of offer that has come in, is coming in for you there. This could well be on the work front. This could be, well, you know, a, a new home coming in. Somebody's bringing in some kind of good message to you. Now, this is, you know, because this is a period where we are uh, meeting friends and family generally, this could be somebody giving you some really good advice. So something worth listening to as well. This could also even be you know, a romantic offer that comes in over here, but it looks like it's something kind of really good advice, something that you can take and make, uh, you know, something constructive really coming in for you there. You've got the lover's card, so there's a choice. It seems like you are reviewing your life. You can see all these people sitting in, in the cinema here looking at the big screen there as a different, uh, you know, uh, you can see there's couples, there's single people over there, there's old married couples here as well in this card. And this is a card about choice. This is also a card about reviewing your life. And that seems to be what you're doing at the moment. You're actually looking at all the decisions you've ever made in your life. And you're looking to see whether or not, uh, you know, because you have to make some kind of big decision right now, it seems like you're doing a life review of previous decisions that you made. And it's a good thing because you've learned a lot from your previous experiences, um, you know, in decisions that you made. And taking all that to, into account is how you're going to make this big decision about moving on. Because at the end of the day, that kingdom of within card says that this decision is going to be in your hands. And it's a really big life-changing decision that comes in for you. Now you're going through the five of pentacles over here. This is financial trouble. You've got Mercury sitting in Taurus. Not a very, very good thing place to be. 
This is Mary and Joseph being thrown out of the inn. You can see the money's lying on the floor. So there's been a lot of financial loss. There's been loss of security. But you can see in the distance there's that a star. And this is the guidance that's coming in over here for you. This woman is riding a bull. So really follow the money is uh, uh, the advice from this card. So even though you're going to, through financial problems, it's important to you to look to see where you are going to be paid the best and then follow that. It looks like you are being divi uh, gui divinely guided as well over there. And you're going to start something new because she's clutching this baby here. So this is something brand new. And, you know, although she's looking back, she's still moving forward. So, you know, you're still looking back at something that you're going to leave behind because you've got the death card. It looks like you're ending maybe an old job situation or, or even a life situation. You're moving forward and you are being divinely guided and even though you're going through a difficult period now that's about to end because you've got the ten of pentacles immediately following it so you've got the five of pentacles going into the ten of pentacles so leaving whatever situation you are whatever insecurity you whatever heartache and heartbreak and financial loss that you've gone through leaving that situation behind is going to bring in the ten of pentacles over here which is the concrete accomplishment card in this particular deck. And then Mercury goes into um, Virgo, which is in its own sign. And you can see all these pentacles here falling. This is the Tree of Life pentacles. And you can see this is a family situation. You can see people bowing down to this person over here. So it looks like whatever you go into, you will have a lot of people who will give you a lot of credit. They will recognize your skills and talents. They will Almost, you know, it's almost like they're worshipping you. Gifts are coming in over here. This is gifts to the Christ child. So this was, um, you know, it, it's a time where you're moving from a, a period of real lack into real abundance and something where you're going to be able to lay down, um, you know, financial security. So finances are coming in. Things are about to end. The Ten of Pentacles also talks about ending an old job because things are not working out over there. And, uh, you know, it's about time that you moved on, um, you know, and uh, move on to something uh, where you are taking on the role more of a teacher, taking on the, that role, because you've got Mercury sitting there in Virgo. And this is about the new thing that you're going to be doing is about uh, learning things. It's about teaching um, things. And that is going to be the thing that brings in the money for you. You've got the moon card over here. So something is still not being revealed to you. Uh, there's still something hidden. Uh, and maybe people have hidden agendas, so just be careful of that. The moon card is your card. Um, so this is about also your psychic intuition and uh, looking at things, uh, you know, from that perspective. So very, very important to listen to your dreams with this card. And, you know, um, this is, because this is the card that is ruled by Pisces, uh, whatever dreams or whatever messages are coming for you are definitely divinely guided. You've got that star coming in over there, uh, divine guidance over here. And, you know, the kingdom within is saying that whatever is coming your way is going to be divinely guided anyway. So listen to your dreams um, and trust your instincts. Uh, go by your uh, experience as well. Also, with the moon card, try not to get a, you know down or depressed about things. Um, you know, there are things that are hidden. You might need to research and find out about it. You might be feeling a little bit trapped, feeling as though you know you're going through a really difficult period. You can see this person standing in the middle of fire over there. But you've got this fortune teller over here. So the wheel of fortune is going to be coming in for you. It's going to bring in a lot of messages for you, uh, a, a lot of change for you rather. You've got a letter here, so there's some messages coming in as well. So you're going to get divine messages, but it could also be that you get some kind of input from people around you that guide you towards where you need to be. Um, and listen to those. Uh, this is, you um, you know, accumulate all this information, make big decisions, and maybe, you know, leave behind a difficult situation. Because it looks like what is coming in for you is going to be really, really good and very, very productive as well. So I'm going to draw some cards from the... Um, Archangel Power Tower for the main read, for the Oracle read. Okay, so you've got the Nine of Ariel over here, which is about independence and moving off on your own pathway. And your dreams are fulfilled. Hard work leads to great success. A love for the beautiful things in life. So the Nine of Ariel is the Nine of Pentacles. And this is about, uh, you know, you're, mad you're going to be able to... Um, Manifest uh, a new job, a new financial situation, financial sp stability and security. Now, 2020, if you add the numbers up, is a year, is a four year, which is a year of stability. 
So if you've been going through a very, very difficult period, you've been trying to do things in 2019, in 2020, things will come to fruition. So whatever you've been working on uh, becomes very solid uh, because it's it's a number of stability. And the nine of Ariel is also about uh, stability and having a, a secure financial income. It's about having a maybe secure relationship, um, you know, with yourself really because it's it's a card about doing things for yourself but getting there and a lot of people giving you that recognition you've got the five of michael over here so it says the situation doesn't serve you release your attachment to the outcome and consider taking a more uplifting approach so this is about leaving behind difficult situations the five of swords so you've been going through a lot of conflict and it's time that you make a decision for yourself and walk away from a situation that is not going to change it doesn't seem like it's going to change you've got the king of michael over here so wisdom and objectivity are important now stay in your integrity a situation that calls for honest and open communication this is about you you know standing up for yourself and telling people what you really want because you want that ace of swords to come into play there but the other thing about the king of michael it is ruled by uh, archangel michael and it is got to do with the justice card so it looks like some legal decision is also going to be made at this particular time since you've got the ace of swords over here it's a, it seems like once you the decision is made you are going to cut ties with whatever is going on and you're going to move on and and you know um the oracle cards are advising that if the situation is not serving you instead of sticking around and facing all the conflict that you've been going through it's time for you to uh, look uh, after yourself and move on so i do hope that this reading has resonated with you and please don't forget to like share and subscribe and thank you so much for watching take care now goodbye